Next, let's take a look at the, the bending stress and compare it to hand calcs. If I go back to my hand calc slide from pre-analysis, um, in the hand calcs, you know, you use the classic MY by I to figure out what the bending stress is. So at this location here, the, the stress, you know, from the corresponding moment and Y, we can say that sigma X is this value, 4.64 megapascals. Now answers, uh, in the hand calcs, what you do is you go from the moment to figure out what sigma X is. In ANSYS, you come at sigma x from the opposite direction. So ANSYS, you know, you know the deformed shape of the, the neutral axis. And so from that, you can calculate sigma x. Now, the, the hand calc method, you know, from going from the moment to sigma x will work only for statically determinate problems, whereas this will work for any kind of problems uh, for statically determinate as well as indeterminate. And that's why uh, the FEA tools like ANSYS use this method. You know, irrespective of uh, whether you have statically determinate or indeterminate. Okay, so let's compare the bending stress. So in ANSYS, I will go, I'll highlight solution in the tree. And usually you'll go under stress and try to select the, you know, whatever component of stress you want to look at. This works for 2D and 3D, but it doesn't work for 1D because 1D is such a special case. So what you have to do is you have to use a special tool. So you go into tools and say beam tool. And that will do, you know, the calculation, you know, go from the, the deformed shape of the neutral axis to figuring out what the bending stress is. And then if I, uh, I can right click or I can say stress and I'll say I want the maximum bending stress and the minimum bending stress. And then I'll say, right click and say evaluate all results. First, let's take a look at the maximum bending stress, okay? It's 4.64 me megapascals because, you know, it's in megapascals because I changed it to millimeters, the units. Um, and that's uh, that matches well from with our hand calculations. Now to understand this better, let me turn on view cross-section, actually thick shells and beams. And if I, and let me turn off the, the deformation. Okay, so this is showing, you know, this is showing the contours of the stress on the undeformed beam. Um, and the value, so the, mag, the bending stress is maximum at the root. And if I manipulate the view, okay, and let me zoom in here. Okay, so I have a view like that. And this value, you know, is applicable at the root, and it's only applicable to, you know, the top fiber, pardon my chicken scratch, okay? Whereas ANSYS is, um, is coloring the whole cross section with that value. So that's misleading, okay? So this value applies only over here. Over here, it's going to be zero. And over here, it's going to be minus 4.64 megapascals, okay? It's going to vary linearly, right? The, the, the MY by I. Um, and so it's not showing you that. Um, and to see this value, you can go to the minimum bending stress. So if I go to minimum bending stress, you see, okay, that value is minus 4.64. And keep in mind that that applies only there. Okay, so the again, the, the visualization is a little bit misleading. Um, and so you have to be careful about interpreting results. So if I just click on Z here and, um, and save project.